Here we are at the beginning of the year 2024. What a crazy year we had last year. We already know of some of the new things that are coming, but I want to go through 10 things that are going to be new or upcoming in the year 2024. Some of them are actual predictions of mine based on conversations that I've had with other folks in the industry. And some of these may surprise you. During the recording of this video, we have AHR coming up in a couple weeks. So please know that, that during this recording, it's before AHR. Sometimes folks might hear of things after AHR and say, well, why didn't you cover that, Josh? I am recording this at the very beginning of the year. And I think some of these things, again, may surprise you regardless. So stick around as I go through these. So let's get started. 10 things that are new or different in the year 2024. The first one is no surprise, and that is the new refrigerants that are coming that are definitely supposed to be out by the year 2025. But we're going to talk about that later in this video. My actual number one is going to be budget-friendly thermostats. I know of a few companies that are working on some Wi-Fi-enabled budget friendly thermostats. There are some other thermostats out there that they are Wi-Fi enabled and they've got all these different things that a lot of homeowners don't even care about. And because of that, they can be quite expensive. And I have been told and I believe that we're going to see more budget friendly options, especially when it comes to thermostats. I would guess that, again, some of those are going to be unveiled at AHR. Number two, again, is no surprise, and that is higher prices on things. We've already gotten notice from some of the major manufacturers. Most of them are going to have some sort of price increase. Some of them significant, some of them are minimal, but again, some sort of price increase. Now, you may say, Joshua, that's that's nothing new. They, they raise their prices almost every year. But in a lot of cases, especially after the last several years with COVID and the pandemic, and then also these higher than normal inflation pricing that we've seen over the last couple of years. And that trend is continuing right through 2024. Now, why do I even bring that up if it's no secret? And that is, I think we already know like Daikin came out with their Daikin Fit. My company is a Daikin dealer and the Fit came out. It was a more budget friendly inverter communicating system option that customers could take advantage of as a budget-friendly option. And I believe you're going to see more budget-friendly options because of all these price increases and so on over the next year. Number three would be new laws. 2023 and 2022 were like no other years that I've seen. And I think that that trend is also going to continue as we go through 2024. As far as these new laws go, we're seeing some states do things such as ban furnaces. We've done videos on that. And we also have seen at the federal level where they are looking at new laws and fighting over things and so on. And I think that trend will continue. I think 2024 is going to be like no other year, especially as 410A refrigerant starts to be phased out and we start to get down to the wire here. You're going to see people really start to fight over things and see things at the federal level, bills, laws, and so one be introduced. We're seeing price increases, new refrigerants, all these new technologies. I've never seen anything like it. And I think 2024 is going to be a big year in regards to all of that. Number four, I think you're going to see more side discharge unit options coming out. Over the last couple of years, we've seen several of the big name brands come out with more of these systems where the fan blows out the front instead of the top. I think that trend is going to continue and you're going to see more products be introduced this year. Some of the brands that were offering, say, a high-end option that was a side discharge unit might now offer a low-end option and vice versa. I think in 10 years, you know, a decade from now, you're probably only going to see side discharge units being offered because of all the advantages that they have. Do I think there will be pushback? There always is. There's always going to be a brand or two that pushes back against that. There's always going to be some pros that push back against that. But I think in general, because of the advantages of being able to produce the same amount of capacity and comfort from some of these systems, but use a whole lot less material, the clearances that they require and so on, I think you're just going to see more side discharge options coming out over the next 12 months. 
Number five, again, no surprise, AI. Artificial intelligence has really blazed a path in technology over the past year, and I think that trend is also going to continue as we see more technologies come out over the next year. I think that there's things that we can't even fathom at the moment that are going to come out. I even joked on a live show not long ago where I said that we have these systems that have these eyes that can see you in the room. It's not like a camera. It's more of a thermal technology. It can see you in the room and split the air, right? We have those ductless units that can do that. And I don't think it would be unheard of of a system being able to see you, see that you're hot and the AI technology in it know to say, hey, instead of you having to adjust the temperature on that system to get it to run, that AI technology might just have it run anyway. It'll be interesting to see as we go on some of these technologies as they come out. Number six, indoor air quality products. And again, this is nothing new, but as we've seen from the pandemic, people are just more aware now. They're more aware than ever of the products that are being offered. And I believe, and I don't know if it's gonna happen this year or if it's just gonna be over the next several years, but one prediction that we've talked about before on our YouTube channel, and I'm going to kind of drive it home a little bit more, is I'm surprised we don't see more combos, more combinations of indoor air quality products. We see a lot of companies will offer some sort of filtration, and then you'll see other companies offer air cleaning, and then you'll see other companies offer these different types of ionization or ozone. You'll see ventilation products, and then of course humidity control of different types. I'm still looking for somebody to start incorporating all that into one or two solutions. Instead of having six different products that need to be installed in your heating and air system, we saw Daikin come out this past year with their air purifier. It encompasses all in one little unit, the high-end filtration, the air cleaner that's in there, and the carbon filter, all the things that it encompasses. Please note that if you hear this and you want to check out that product, I'm gonna put a link down in the description of this video where you can actually get a discount on that product. We get a little credit for that as well, but if you click that link and buy the product, you'll get a discount. But just seeing more of that, more folks that when they are looking at indoor air quality options, instead of having to say, hmm, should I go filtration? Should I go UV light? Should I go all these different options? And they all do different things. Instead of having all these different options, having one option or two options and it all be together. I'd say look for that over the next year, if not five years. Number seven, new technologies. And you might say, well, Josh, that sure is a bold prediction. New, new technologies. You're so smart. I can tell you that I have had conversations with folks behind closed doors of some of the new technologies that are coming out and they actually are coming out with some new technologies. There's a few products that are sold overseas that we don't have yet here in North America. I think you're going to see companies focus less on SEER ratings. You still have companies doing that. You know, I, I remember this past year, one company came out with, oh, we have the highest SEER, this or that. It doesn't always matter as much. I'm not saying SEER means nothing, but when you're looking at some of these high-end systems, I just don't think it's as good of a representation on whether or not a system is good for your home or not, mostly because a lot of them will lose capacity at some point. It's like having the fastest race car in the world and you're like, oh, I got this fast car, but then it only have, say, a one gallon tank of gas, right? And you're like, well, you know, I don't know if I want that car now. And so the point is you're going to see companies looking at more of things like, say, COP ratings and other ratings like that instead of just always focusing on the SEER or the CR2 rating. And so with these new technologies, you're also gonna see technologies such as air to water, heat pump technology. We're gonna see more solar options and possibly more geothermal options than we've ever seen before. I do know that there's some things being worked on, things that are a little unconventional from what we've seen in the past, and maybe hopefully a little more budget friendly instead of these extremely expensive well drillers that make a ton of money just from burying the loops maybe having a few options versus that. Number eight would be new features to existing technologies. We did a video recently on the OneCloud service that Daikin offers, and I know there's some other brands out there that offer similar things to that. I know specifically with OneCloud that they are working on some really cool things that will be coming out this next year. I'm not allowed to talk about all of those things, but again, new technologies, new features to existing technologies. Number nine would be those new refrigerants. We've talked about it in other videos. I talked about it earlier in this video. 
As we get closer to January 1st, 2025 and 410A equipment is going away, I think over this next 12 months is probably not that big of a bold prediction. Yes, we're going to start seeing products come out with these A2L refrigerants. Different brands are going with different refrigerants. I know with Daikin and their brands are going with the proven one, the R32. And I think you're going to see as these companies start to roll this stuff out, Daikin came out with the Atmosphere a long time ago so that folks could go ahead and get used to it, get to working on it, have them installed. And I think that's pretty cool, but I think you're going to see some brands just completely flip the switch and their whole entire lineup get rolled out as we get closer to that deadline. But then I'm hoping, and over the next month or two, we're finally going to start to see some of these brands roll out some of these new products and maybe just kind of phase 410A refrigerant out instead of this complete light switch moment, if you will. We just did a video recently on A2L refrigerants. I highly recommend watching that of all the changes that are coming because of that, of the five differences in the A2L refrigerants. Check that video out. That video talks about some of the sensors and some of the other hardware that we're going to see. And then finally, number 10 for new things that you're going to see in 2024, and that is We've started to see this trend over the last couple of years, but I think more than ever because of inflation and because of all these things that we're seeing change in our industry, you're going to start to see very unique options when it comes to either financing or even leasing in our industry. I'm hoping to do a video soon with a company that specializes on the leasing side of things. It's a new concept. And when I say new, it may not necessarily be new to the industry. There are companies that have been doing things like that for a few years now. But to some of us, including me and to some of you, if you don't have anyone in your area doing things like that, the whole concept is just new in general. And I think you're going to see more options over this next year when it comes to financing and leasing. So that's my 10 the 10 things I think you're going to see that are different or new coming out in the year 2024. Did I miss one? I'd love to hear about it. Comment down in the comment section below. Or do you have a bold prediction? I love those probably more than anything. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about the top five energy wasters in residential HVAC. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.